Hi, I'm Dave Akerson. I'm um, a, a strategic marketing engineer at Intel. Um, Jim told me that I am the last person standing between you and beverages. Okay, so um, Jim told me that I'm the last person standing between you and beverages. So I'm going to try to go quick. Um, I had a really wow video that I was going to show you, but of course the best laid plans of mice and men um, don't always work. But you know, I also wanted to try to keep you guys awake. But I'll, I'll try to do it. You know, just just going forward anyway. Um, so from talking to Jim, Jim told me that uh, last year at the this conference, um, you'd had an overview uh, or received some information on NVM Express. And Jim asked me to come and uh, provide you with an update as to what's going on with NVM Express. I don't know how many of you are familiar with NVM Express uh, um, or not. Most of you have heard about MB NVM Express. That's good. It, I, I know that there's one person here who actually, his company um, is an NVM Express workgroup member. Uh, and he was very, very uh, 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 dialed in with it. Uh, up until a year ago, so he may he, he may be my technical expert I if need be. But anyway, we'll, I'll just jump into it and uh, new laptop. Okay, this is great. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. So just want to kind of start with uh, kind of a quick o overview of what NVM Express is uh, for those of you who aren't familiar with it. But in a nutshell, NVM Express is a high performance scalable host interface control scalable host controller interface designed for both enterprise and client systems that use PCIe SSDs all right one of the prime you probably heard of SCSI express basically one of the main differences between NVM express and SCSI express is with NVM express you have uh, the ability to, or this technology is designed for both enterprise and client, not just uh, necessarily um, uh, systems that are using SCSI uh, today. Um, NVM Express is NVM techno technology agnostic. So not only is, it, is this interface designed for this generation of NVM Express, it's also designed for the next generation. We expect this technology to have um, more than a decade of life. So a as NVM evolves, you're actually going to be able to apply this going forward. You're going to see even greater benefits uh, as the technology evolves. NVM Express, um, the work group, if you're not familiar with it, um, NVM Express, uh, the, the effort started about four and a half years ago. Um, a number of companies came together. They recognized that there was a growing gap between the uh, processor capabilities and the IOs and the IOs ability to, to handle um, processing all of this data. So uh, it was developed by a consortium of over 80 members. We're actually approaching uh, 95 members now. And the, the organization itself is directed by 13 company, a 13 company promoter group. Um, some of these companies you may have heard of. Um, but. Uh, and if you're interested, there is additional information on NVM Express um, on our NVM Express org website. I will tell you that um, from a marketing standpoint, the NVM Express uh, uh, org website is being redesigned and relaunched um, in the next couple of weeks. So uh, if, if you want to go there today, you can get information today, but I promise it will be easier to find information next week and, and uh, uh, it will be more uh, aesthetically pleasing. I was told not to put a whole lot of marketing fluff in here. Jim, I'm sorry, that was my one far fluff message. Okay. Yeah. So um, just kind of simplifying this, NVM Express has been architected for SSDs. If you, if you look at the traditional interfaces that exist today, they were basically designed for HDDs. And with HDDs, they were, they were very limited as far as their ability to, uh, to transmit IOPS. Um, basically limited up to 200 uh, IOPS. Um, there were a lot of inefficiencies that were hidden because as corner cases came up, um, the specifications, SCSI, um, AHCI, basically there were workarounds incorporated in the command set to, uh, to uh, overcome those corner cases. The, the downside of that is that created a lot of inefficiencies in the code. So with SSDs um, and NVM Express, this was architected specifically for 
non-volatile memory. So uh, last year, and the, the outstanding wow video that you would have seen uh, was a demo that we did at IDF last year, um, basically taking technology that's available off the shelf today. Um, we had some prototype uh, NVMe drives and in, you, optimizing the networking stack and also optimizing the uh, storage stack uh, and the storage interface, we were able to achieve over 3 million IOPS and demo that. So a lot of the efficiencies, inefficiencies have been exposed. With NVM Express, basically you're taking the SSDs, you're putting them closer to the processor and you're eliminating uh, layers in between. Okay. If there are any questions as we go, please don't hesitate to hold up your hand and, and ask them. Technical basics. So basically, uh, the whole focus of this effort has been around efficiency, scalability, and performance. Some of the capabilities that are supported by, by um, NVM Express, all parameters for four kilobyte commands uh, are in a single 64-byte uh, DMA fetch. It's, uh, NVM Express, it supports deep queues, 64K commands up per queue, uh, up to 64K um, queues. Uh, supports MSIX and interrupt steering. St it's a streamlined command set optimized for NVM Express. So basically there are six commands. Uh, my next four will actually kind of show you uh, the required commands uh, and you'll see how efficient this actually is com compared to uh, SCSI. Um, and then on the enterprise side, uh, we have support for end-to-end -end data protection including diff and dis. Okay. Um, basically, NVM Express operates on a paired um, submission completion queue mechanism, uh, supports uh, multiple uh, submissions, and um, you know, typical architecture uh, will support um, uh, a submission completion queue uh, for each core. So as I mentioned, the streamlined command set. Um, in the case, uh, there are basically 13 commands total. All right. In comparison with SCSI Express, you have over 100 commands. All right. So uh, 10 of these are administrative. Three of these are IOs. Now, on top of that, there are uh, some optional commands that, that can be uh, utilized in it. But as you can see, 13 compared to over 100 is a substantial reduction. Um, I, I was talking with somebody just uh, last year uh, uh, watching the Olympics and watching Usain Bolt, and we were just talking about how, you know, how runners have advanced so, so fast. And can you imagine if the starting process for them, which is basically coming out of the blocks is a three-step process. You hear the gun, you, you, um, you basically, uh, you know, take in that gun firing, it tells you, you get a command to your body saying go, and your body goes. Can you imagine if coming out of the starting blocks, that starting block mechanism or sequence had evolved like the HDD and, uh, and SCSI interface? Man, guys would be in the blocks for hours before they'd even start running, okay? Um, so, wow, gotta quit moving that, okay. So very, very efficient. So um, case study, uh, we're in the process of getting actual uh, NVM Express products. Is it me moving? Probably. Oh. All right, no worries. So um, we, we, Okay, I can stand in one place if that makes makes it easier for you guys. All right, there we go. So um, we, we took some prototype uh, NVM Express drives and to see what kind of impact did NVM Express actually had it. And uh, as I mentioned before, you know, basically it's a much more efficient um, storage stack, if you will. A lot of redundancies are eliminated. And what we found was that NVM Express basically reduced latency overhead by more than 50%. So what we did was, and this is um, 1 million IOPS 
and, and basically uh, one million IOPS to, to achieve, in the case of SCSI and SAS, basically it was six um, microseconds uh, for 19,500 cycles. In the case of NVM Express, um, 2.8 and in 9,100 cycles. So you can see this is much more efficient. From an end user standpoint, this is gonna save power. It's gonna uh, provide performance to access hot data much, much quicker. Um, the other interesting aspect is, is that to do NBM Express in one million IOPS, basically two cores. In the case of um, uh, SCSI Express, seven cores, okay? So very, very efficient. And, and we're very excited about this, mar this technology coming to, to market. Um, NVM Express status. So our NVM Express 1.0 specification was published in March 2011. Um, the NVM Express uh, 1.1 specification was published in October 2012. This added uh, a number of enterprise and client capabilities. On the enterprise side, it, was, it included support for multipath I.O. and namespace sharing. Um, on the client side, basically it provided autonomous transitions during use, which lowers the power for client systems. Now, um, UNH IOL, uh, NVM, we've been working very, very closely with the University of New Hampshire uh, Interoperability Lab, and we plan to have our first plug fest in May, on May, beginning May 13th. And basically, you know, one of the whole ideas around NVM Express is that this is a standards-based uh, protocol. So we want to be able to deliver interoperable drives. So for end users, there's a huge advantage from the standpoint of, okay, I, I can source my, SSD, my PCIe SSDs from multiple vendors. Um, first products, we expect the first products to appear in 2013. Um, and we expect enterprise and data center uh, to adopt these first, all right? Um, probably sometime next year, you'll start to see uh, these drives in, in client systems as well. Mm -hmm. So drivers, and just kind of a, a driver update. So we do have Linux and Windows drivers are available now. Um, VMware, uh, the VMware and UEFI drivers are under development. In the case of the VMware driver, the initial driver's been developed by Intel. Uh, it's VMK Linux based on the Linux version. Um, the UEFI uh, driver is also under development. Um, this is, uh, we have an open, open source plan in uh, the first half of 2013 and we're in the process of finalizing that. In addition to that, um, we, we do have a Solaris working driver, and uh, as far as the actual plans, they are, they are still being defined as to when that will be available. Okay. So just in summary, and I did it in 15 minutes, so you're getting out sooner. Um, NVM Express is optimized for PCIe SSDs. It's replacing standards that were designed for HDDs, the performance, it provides performance for not only today's NVM, but also the next generation of NVM. And the product and driver infrastructure is maturing quickly. Last year, a lot of tools were delivered. If any of you went to IDF and, and happened to come into the NVM Express community that we had there, um, you saw tools from Agilent, you saw controllers from IDT and, and other companies uh, giving information on their NVM Express plans. Come back to IDF this year, we expect to have some significant demonstrations taking place um, there. And then lastly, the uh, uh, first NVM Express PCIe SSDs, they're expected in 2013. So again, if you are interested in NVM Express, want to have find out more information, we encourage you to go to the NVM Express uh, org dot website. If any of you are going to interop, um, we will also have an NVM uh, uh, communi small community there uh, showing some demonstrations of these products. Okay, with that. Let's try your demo one last time. Try the demo one last time? No. Uh, they all want to, they all want beverage. They don't want, no. the, okay. See that. They want to see it, okay. Uh, so, you know, it, it, this is almost like going to a movie or hearing that the movie was one of the greatest movies ever, and then you go in and you're going to go, oh, wow, that was it? This is very disappointing. Um, I, I hope that's not the case. 
so what you're seeing here in this demo is we, we had a SAM, we had approximately 12 um, servers uh, linked together with fiber channel you know, over Ethernet. Um, and we had uh, connected to um, a, a, a SAN that had uh, six NVMe uh, prototypes in it. And with it, we were able to achieve over 3 million IOPS, um, as you saw. Um, there you go. That was it.